everyone. I'm Donna Bush with your CIG TV News Update. Minister of Community Affairs, Youth and Sports, the Honorable Osborne Bodden, paid a visit to departments that provide services to youth, the elderly, as well as adults with drug rehab needs recently. The visit started at the Youth Services Unit and Cadet Corps, then it was on to the East End Sunrise Cottage, where MLA, East End MLA, Mr. Arden McLean, joined the group. Then on to Caribbean Haven, the Francis Bodden home was the final stop, and then the Children and Youth Services Foundation. Now, Mr. Bodden learned firsthand of all new developments at each facility. He also thanked all staff for their hard work within their respective agencies in spite of limited resources. He was accompanied by Chief Officer Doreen Whitaker and other senior ministry staff. Well, government through the Department of Environmental Health is seeking qualified tenders for the quick processing and removal of all used tires at the Grand Cayman landfill. Government says it may consider paying a nominal fee for removal. The removal involves used tires existing as whole, unprocessed, or semi-processed tires, which means that those are with shredded or with or without rims. Now, interested tenderers must meet the eligibility criteria in order to be considered and evaluated. Bids should include all costs necessary to conduct the project proof of finances and technical ability to fulfill the contractual obligations. They must also be demonstrated. Now, those who are interested should collect the tender package from the Department of Environmental Health. That's located on North Sound Road. The deadline for the tendering documents to be in is May the 20th. Now, late tenders will not be accepted, and the Cayman Islands government will not defray any costs incurred by tenderers. You can contact DEH Director Roy Del Carter by phone or email for more details. Meantime, the public is invited to a very important event marking the involvement of Cayman Islands veterans in wars around the globe. Two of our veterans tell us more. Well, the event takes place on May the 8th at the Turtle Farm, actually, on the waterfront, which would be in the parking lot. And it will be in celebration of VE Day, Victory in Europe Day. And there was a lot of Caymanians involved in that conflict on the European side, on the Pacific side, on the seas, and around the Cayman Islands here. The Home Guard had about 200 men in it that was watching for enemy subs patrolling the waters around Cayman. And then you had the Trinidad Navy, uh, Caymanian contingent, with, with another two, 300 people. So We are going to be producing all sorts of pictures and uh, illustrations and charts and tables and maps so that people can get a good idea themselves. And obviously we're going to be having bi biographies of some of the individuals who were leading people in it. Again, the beacon lighting ceremony celebrating VE Day takes place across from the Turtle Farm. That's on May 8th, beginning at 8 p.m. in the evening. The public is invited to take part in a Ride for a Life bike-a-thon that's coming up on Saturday, May 30th. The event starts and ends at the Civil Service Association Corporative, Corporative Credit Union. Registration is $10, which includes a T-shirt. On the day, registration will go up to $15. You can contact Charmaine dot, that's C-H-A-R-M-A-N-E dot Huntley, H-U-N-T-L-E-Y, at R-C-I-P-S dot K-Y for more details. Well, if you missed our news update, you can go to our Facebook page or our YouTube channel to watch. Also, don't forget to tune in to Radio Cayman's talk shows, For the Record and Talk Today. That's weekdays and week mornings. For now, I'm Donna Bush, as always, thanking you for joining us, wishing you a wonderful and safe night, and I'm inviting you back here again to join us on Wednesday evening. Until then, bye-bye for now.